so hello guys and welcome back once again so basically today we will be discussing the latest allen pre score paper so guys this is the first question on screen and let's start with the easy one so basically i will not be waiting you can stop the video and try out for yourself i will solve the questions continuously so guys going with this one this is a continuity question you can understand so this question is a one on like f of x is a one on one function and it is monotonically increasing which means that from here the first conclusion is f of 0 minus will be either less than or equal to f of 0 plus right because it is monotonically increasing so basically it means that if i put in the first minus e power minus x plus k that expression if i put your 0 then it will become k minus 1 and this will be less than equal to 2 so basically k is less than equal to 3 okay actually not a continuity question this is a question on functions only but easy okay so k is less than equal to 3 and therefore i guess options a and b okay we will see the options later and one more thing guys like it is monotonically increasing so zero was one of the like intervals it is x belonging to open zero to one right in the middle one so basically we are using that and also we can say f of 1 minus will be less than equal to f of 1 plus so using this particular factor this will come out to be e plus 1 is less than e plus lambda now there is a reason why equal to is actually ru like ruled out because at 1 it is 0 less x less 1 and this is x greater than equal to 1 so i guess there will be no circumstance at all where this equality will hold okay wait just a minute okay guys wait the i actually did a mistake equality will hold okay i was thinking about something else leave equality will hold so basically this will come out to be lambda greater than equal to 1 okay so this is k less than equal to 3 and lambda greater than equals to 1 so guys this was a multiple correct answer type so you can i guess fairly understand the questions will have the the question will have the answers as b and d this was a pretty easy question nothing to worry about so let's move on to the next one okay so guys proceeding with the next question this question is uh, like i would not say hard okayish type of question in, in integration and guys i have jumped into question number 3 directly because question number 2 was like literally easy okay it's a really like kid type of question so i didn't go into it so let's move on so guys to solve this question i hope you can understand in sums like this where x square minus 1 is present and if you notice the powers in the denominator okay there are two roots and you can see a pattern sort of like there is plus plus and there is minus plus okay with the terms so i guess this will give you a sort of hint that we have to do division and basically we will do a division with x square okay or rather i should say if you divide both numerator and denominator with x square then you are actually dividing an inside the root both the roots inside the denominator you are actually dividing the terms inside the roots with x power 4 so basically this thing will become x plus 1 by x plus 1 and this thing will become plus of your root x plus 1 by x minus 1 actually this thing like this should come out to be x minus 1 plus 1 by x but i just reverse the order and wrote it okay same thing so guys i hope no more confusions like now everything is visible i guess you have to just put x plus 1 by x as equal to t so basically you will get your 1 minus of 1 by x square dx to be equal to dt so if we proceed a little bit this will become integral dt and under the like inside the denominator you will have root t plus 1 minus of sorry not minus plus of root t minus 1 so now basically a very simple step you have to rationalize so when you rationalize actually this particular thing the denominator would come out to be 2 so this will become half integral root t plus 1 minus root t minus 1 dt okay so after this guys i hope everything is easy like simple integration 
this will become t plus 1 power 3 by 2 minus of your t minus 1 power 3 by 2 and obviously this will be divided also by 3 by 2 so multiplied by 2 by 3 will give you this thing multiplied by 1 by 3 okay and there can be like i hope they have given this in a form so this is plus constant integration constant so guys f of x basically Okay, so guys, basically, if you put x plus 1 by x minus like t equal to x plus 1 by x, so this particular thing was given to be f of x, that's why your f of x has become x plus 1 by x minus 1. Now, basically, they have given this thing to be f of x plus a. So, it means that x plus 1 by x minus 1 plus 1, okay. So, that is the result that will come out, like they have given this to be f of x plus a. So actually, like, I'm sorry, inside the bracket, you will have x plus 1 by x plus 1. So I can write this as f of x. And I guess it's a minus 1, right? So this will be minus 2. So minus 2 plus 1 will give you the minus 1. Okay. So I guess here a will be minus 2. And your b, b is, I guess, in the denominator, right? So b is 3. A is minus 2, B is 3, and F of X is, I guess, this. Okay, so guys, uh, first of all, like, option number B would actually become correct, not option number A, because B says that small b is greater than A, which is absolutely true. And going on to option numbers C and D, it's the same sum, actually. Like, this is limit of X is tending to 1, F of X, power of 3 by X minus 1. So this is limit of x is tending to 1, f of x meaning x plus 1 by x minus 1, power of 3 by x minus 1. So you can understand this is nothing but 1 power infinity. So this will be e power of limit x is tending to 1, and this will be f of x minus 1, right? Okay, so guys, actually, just don't do this. Do one thing. From here, take limit x is tending to 1, like whatever you take, the e power, take it. And write this as your f of x minus 1 times of 3 by x minus 1, okay? Actually, this method is better because you can see this particular circle part directly becomes f dash 1. So, this is e limit x is tending to 1, 3 times of f dash 1. So, guys, if you calculate this, because your f dash 1 from here will actually come out to be 0, so this will be e power 0 and so this will come out to be 1. This was a better method actually. So guys, C is also correct. And therefore your correct options for this question will become B and C. Okay. So let's proceed to the next question. Okay. So guys, on with the next question. And this question will just require, you can understand, drawing of the graphs. So let's quickly graph this out and I guess this will be an easy question. Okay, so guys, this is approximately the curve. I am, I have drawn actually x cube and x bar 5 both, but they are so close that it's difficult to distinguish. So basically, guys, this is one intersection point that will arrive at your, I guess, minus 1. And this will be another intersection point that will arrive at 1. Okay. So basically, it's nothing. Actually, these two curves are a bluff. What you have to do is you have to only calculate the area in between minus 1 to 1 for mod x dx, nothing else, okay? So guys, I hope this will be a very easy task. This will be integral 0 to 1 and also 2 times of x dx. So this will come out to be 2 times of x square by 2 from 0 to 1, which is, I guess, your 2 into half, which is 1, okay? So guys, they had said that in which interval this lies. So basically, your answers will be all of your A, B, C and D. Okay, all will be the answers. Anyway, so guys, let's move on to the next question. Okay, so guys, here is the next question. And this question is a bit interesting. So basically, they have given one function f of x and they have given three forms of this p, q and r. Okay, x is tending to zero, infinity and minus infinity. So you can understand we have to basically type of solve three different. Okay. So guys, uh, first thing is f of x. 
is equal to ln x square plus e power 2 x and this is whole divided by your ln of x power 6 plus e power x okay so guys actually if you note like if you put x tending to 0 infinity and minus infinity what you will observe is all these limits will be of like all the three limits will be of either of the two forms 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity that means we are free to apply L orbitals right so if we apply L orbitals to this actually this will become limit of I'm right now taking this to be x is tending to some lambda and this will become 1 by x square plus e power 2 x into 2x plus of your 2e power 2x and if we move a bit downwards this will be whole divided by your 1 by x power 6 plus e power x and this is multiplied by 6x power 5 plus e power x so basically if you do a little bit of manipulation like if you first calculate p where it is limit x is tending to 0 then you will observe this is like simple putting off 0 values this will come out to be 2 Okay, I'm not calculating this. This is pretty easy to calculate. This will come out to be 2. Okay, and talking about Q, for Q, this will actually be limit x is tending to, I guess, plus infinity, right? So for plus infinity, what I'm doing is I will be doing division. So what I will do is I will like, okay, let me write the final form only. You will understand it better. So this will become 2 times of x by e power 2x plus 2 whole divided by x square by e power 2x plus 1 multiplied by this will become x power 6 by e power of x plus 1 whole divided by 6 times of x power 5 by e power x plus 1 actually I divided by e power 2x and e power x and everything is adjusted as you can see so guys, like, I hope you know that limit of x is tending to infinity, x power n by e power x, this thing goes to zero. Why? Because obviously any, like, e power x will obviously move faster than x power n, or rather e power x will obviously rise faster, increase faster than x power n, when x is tending to plus infinity. So for that, actually, all these terms, bracketed terms, will become zero. So this will come out to be two also okay now you would ask me one thing that why did i do this l orbitals and why am i again calculating it so please don't blindly go into doing l orbitals because p and q although are coming out to be two but r will come out to be a different value okay don't make a mistake so for r this will be limit x is tending to minus infinity now there is a problem here basically many people what they will do is they will try to adapt the same thing here but let me tell you limit x is tending to plus infinity x power n by e power x will come out to zero but limit x is tending to minus infinity x power n by e power x will also come out to be infinity only okay it's actually the reverse limit like in case of minus infinity limit x is tending to minus infinity e power x by x power n this thing comes out to be zero okay there is a difference so i hope you have understood what we will do here so basically we will do the reverse of what we did this is 2 plus 2 into e power 2x by x whole divided by this is x times of 1 plus e power 2x by x square and here you will have x into 1 plus e power x by x power 6 and this will be whole divided by 6 plus e power x by x power 5 so if you see again these fractional terms all of them will go to 0 so guys this will actually come out to be 2 by 6 which is 1 by 3 okay like this is you know this could easily bluff you if you would have applied simple like blindly applied L orbitals and done this and this could have bluffed you anyways so we have got the values p equals to q equals to 2 and r is equal to 1 by 3 so guys i hope there will be no more confusions i will directly tell you the answers because the i guess the options are only comparison and addition of the values so correct answers for this question wise will come out to be a and c okay so let's move on to the next question
okay so guys here is the next question and like the there were two comprehensions in this paper i guess and guys both of them were really easy okay one was based on inverse trigonometry like sine inverse of sine function and cos inverse of cos function just the calculation and another was a pnc question which was really easy okay like it's below mains level so i didn't go into those questions like this question is also very easy but because we have not done system of equations for a long time so let's do it anyway so guys the system of linear equations is given x plus y minus z is equal to 2 x plus 2y plus alpha z is equal to 1 and 2x minus y plus z is equal to beta these are the three like system of linear equations given so it is given that it has infinite solution so i hope everyone knows the condition delta is equal to delta 1 is equal to delta 2 is equal to delta 3 and obviously it is equal to 0. so straight away let's calculate delta so if we calculate delta this will become 1 1 minus 1 1 to alpha and 2 minus 1 1 so like i hope this is pretty easy to calculate okay if you want you can maybe apply one row operation but i don't think there is need you can calculate this much so guys if you calculate this this will actually come out to be 3 into 2 plus alpha which is equal to 0 so from here alpha comes out to be minus 2 first thing okay so alpha is minus 2 and now if we move on to calculate say uh, let's calculate delta 2 because we need the value of beta also so delta 2 is 1 to 1 sorry minus 1 and 1 1 minus 2 and this thing is 2 beta 1 okay so if we calculate this thing this will come out to be 1 into 1 plus 2 beta minus 2 into 1 plus 4 and this will be minus of beta minus 2 is equal to 0 okay so if we like Ma uh, like manipulate this a bit i guess this is coming out to be beta minus uh 2 beta minus beta 5 twos are 10 minus yeah it is coming out to be beta equal to 7 okay so alpha is minus 2 beta is 7 so the value of alpha plus beta comes out to be 5 okay like the questions in the beginning were actually the good ones there are a few good ones but they are after this up till now all the questions were really childish okay really childish questions anyway so guys i hope this will be the end for today's video i will bring out the rest of the questions a lot are, a lot are there okay there are many papers coming in and a lot of questions are also left so the next questions will be arriving in the like later videos so ending this video here guys if you have liked my channel do like share and subscribe and any recommendations doubts or anything you have you may come out in the comment section if you want and do join my telegram discussion chat for your discussions because that's a really good place okay so that's it for today guys hope you have a good day and thanks for watching